I swear I will! Fuck you and your queen! That's enough! So long as you're in my camp, you will obey my orders! And getting pissed drunk before a mission! Obey? You know what kind of shit-brained fool does that? One who wants to fucking die out there! Have you lost your damn mind? I am not some animal in a cage! What in the seven bloody hells are I you talking I will not let about? you bark orders at me! I'm glad to see you two are getting along. Warms the heart. I'm not the one with the problem. It's him. She can't fight like this, Asher. You think I'm too drunk to fight? What the fuck what do you What are you, you gonna know? do? Run out there swinging a fucking... Ah! Ah! Still think I can't fight? You fucking bitch! Oh, there we go. Hey, come on, Beska. Leave the poor Let man alone. Let go of me before I break your fingers. Deal with your friend. She'll get us all you killed. You sound scared, Croft. This is bloody important. You afraid your mother will spank you? I will not let you two fuck or this up. Are you up. looking forward to it? I'll talk to her. Good. If she can't hold it together, we're leaving without the both of you. <laughs> you think your little thumbcock can take Marine all by itself? <sighs> I'd never work with a bloody show like you Basically, anyway. what the hell is going on? <sighs> you gonna lecture me too? <sighs> Huh. Croft doesn't know shit about anything. None of you do. Will you stop trying to hit me? Whatever your problem is with Croft, just let it go. You think this is about Croft? You think I give two shits about what Croft had to say? <coughs> your fucking uncle is the only reason I'm even here. He told your little dragon queen I would go into Marine with you. Just talk to me, Beska. We're done talking. What the hell is wrong with her? Hit me. Oh, if this was a real fight, you'd be dead. I'm not going to do that. So what? You're gonna kill me because you don't want to go into some fucking city! I was a slave! Here, in this fucking city! <sighs> I was taken from my home when I was only three years old. When I was seven, my master threw me in the fighting pits to die. When my master tired of watching me kill animals for sport, he started... He started sending other children. I butchered every one of them. I... After a while, I thought the fear was gone. I thought I was used to it. You never get used to something like that. I'd ask what you were thinking, but maybe I don't want to know. There was this boy. We used to play five stones in the alley when we couldn't sleep. When I saw him next, he was in that pit with me. I saw the fear in his eyes. That same fear I felt my first time. And I realized it hadn't left me. I still wanted to live. I wanted it so badly. My master watched as I did it. Smiling. I could have killed him for that fucking smile. I knew you wouldn't understand. I bought my freedom a long time ago, but I have always hated this place. Hated him. Dizor Zoraza. Because of that man. Marine is a city of dead children. Don't worry about me. I won't let you down. I know you won't.
She is pretty damn drunk, though. in there, Sarah. I know I'm not supposed to attend, but then you know Lady Marjorie doesn't want to see you. What could be so important? I need to speak with Lords Morgrin and Andros. One of them might be working against my family. Doing what? If I knew that, I wouldn't be here. Lady Marjorie would be furious, Mira. I can't. I'm sorry. I want to help you, but I can't risk it. I'll take the blame. You can tell Marjorie I snuck in and you tried to stop me. She's already thinking about replacing you. Are you sure you want to risk it? I have to. She she probably already has replaced me. I need to make use of this position when I can. All right. You owe me for this. She's with me. We'll stay out of trouble. I promise. Feels a bit strange to celebrate, doesn't it? Not so long ago, King Joffrey sat on the Iron Throne. Tommen is our king now. Long may he reign. Sarah! I was worried you'd run off with your friend there. And what if I did? I'm not sure I could blame you. This is Lady Mira Forrester. Mira, Lord Garibald Tarwick. She's quite lovely. Where have you been hiding her? You're making her blush. <laughs> you flatter me. Sarah's lovelier than us all. I won't argue there. It's quite a feast, isn't it? Just be careful around the wine. I hear you're partial to a particular arbor red. It's easy to forget. Nothing you do in King's Landing goes unnoticed. Drink too much once and you're forever the drunken fool. Talk to the wrong people oh, and... Oh, Lord Tarwick! Oh, he didn't seem so happy. What was that about? Nothing. That subject isn't fit for your delicate ears anyway. <gasps> My ears are not delicate. Of course they are. Look how tiny they are. <laughs> Little loads. <Stop> it. <laughs> what? I mean it. Someone caught your eye, Mira? My apologies. I just noticed Lords Andros and Morgren over there. What a shame. Ruining a perfectly good afternoon with that nonsense. Perhaps someone should encourage them to argue elsewhere. If you'll excuse me. This reminds me of the tourney at Lannisport. You wouldn't believe them. You told me this story. But you would have loved it. We danced all evening, drank wine from our helmets. That is it! Andros, you're being ridiculous! Andros, eavesdrop, eavesdrop, let's eavesdrop. And more grim. And why would you ever stop dealing ironwood? Hmm. Is there no longer a demand for it? I can't imagine that would be the case. <sighs> no need for such wild speculation. I've simply lost interest. I'm moving on to better things, as they say. Hmm, hmm. and what would that be? <laughs> no, no, no. I can see what you're doing. I'm not giving away my secrets just yet. What about Andros? Oh, oh, listen to him as well. Mr. 
It is a lot, but I know how to spend it. Mm. Uh, but how did you manage it? Lord Whitehill trusts me above all others. That's why I'm the only one he's willing to work with. Oh, an exclusive deal. How good for you, Andros. Well, I've got my family to consider. When's the last time you even saw your wife, Andros? So it is Andros. I know that much now. But uh, what do I do with this information? What exactly am I meant to talk to him about? What if I can talk to Morgan? <laughs> <laughs> Oh, please, if you'll excuse me. <laughs> Lady Mira, I'm impressed. Impressed with what? That you aren't currently locked in a cell. I trust this means that you took care of that contract. How did you do it, if I may ask? That I wasn't really expecting matter. to see you again, if I'm being honest. You must have made quick work of it. If I tell you how I did it, what's in it for me? <laughs> Nothing. But I admire the gall. I do believe King's Landing is rubbing off on you. So, what have you been up to? Enjoying yourself? Though I suppose if you're talking to me, you must want something. I've heard you stopped selling ironwood. Not on my account, I hope. How did you... So it's true. It appears that you know most of the story already. I've been pushed out of the ironwood business. Oh. All thanks to my partner. Bloody imbecile. Andros is now Lud Whitehill's exclusive contact in King's Landing. No matter the fact that I introduced them in the first place. That man would be nothing without me. It appears we have an enemy in common, Lord Morgren. I hadn't thought of it that way. Then perhaps you'll have better luck against Andros and his new partner, Lyman Lannister. He's working with a Lannister? A third cousin, to be fair. Whatever Andros is up to, he clearly thinks Lyman can take my place. Hmm. <laughs> Rickard! Are you done flirting with that handmaiden? We need your opinion here. <laughs> oh, leave him alone. Please excuse me. So Lyman is involved. Tarbuk didn't seem too fond of... My men either. Hmm. Is he just going to be telling a story oh, right now? I can't remember. I, th I think it was a bird. Mm, close. A cock. That's it. <laughs> no, that's terrible. You're the one telling the joke, remember? Well, that wasn't super exciting. I wonder if it's worth asking about Lyman, or if I should just go chat with him on my own. That is him, right? I heard he was killed. Right here in the garden. Well. Wasn't he Lannister? One of their guard, but still. Oh, surely they found who did it. No, they haven't caught him yet. Not for lack of effort, mind you. I hear they've spared no expense. Well, no luck. For them or me. Where is where is Lyman? Is he back here or back in this? Look at flowers. Sure, why not? Pretty flowers. I can't look at flowers the same way anymore. Why not? You always appreciate the good things in life. Ooh, look at food. So. Andros is working with Lyman. Tarbuck doesn't like Lyman, but won't tell Sarah about it. Hmm. Wonder if we can maybe just talk immediately. To can we eavesdrop again? Maybe does he have anything new to say? And the Lannister too. Uh, I thought we were done talking about this. You asked me about my friends. Friends, yes. Lyman is your business partner. What's the difference? Uh, fair enough, Andros. And if my friends happen to protect me from the crown, all the better. <laughs> I think I need more wine. Yeah. Yeah. 
Andros is not the most stimulating gardening. Oh, here he is. Here's Lyman. Hello. Um, excuse me. Lyman Lannister? <laughs> Shit. You startled me. As if I don't already have enough to deal with. I'm so sorry. I, I shouldn't have. No, no, it's not your fault. I just get clumsy sometimes. I'm. I'm afraid you have me at a disadvantage, Lady. Mira. Lady Mira. I'm not used to being approached so boldly. But I'm glad you did. I always feel a bit out of place at big gatherings like this. So, what brings you over here? I'm not the best company, I'm afraid. Or were you headed for the wine and I got in your way? You look like you could use some company. What are you doing all by yourself? I don't mind, really. I only came to discuss some business with Lord Andros. <laughs> I'm told it's rude to leave early. Oh? What kind of business? I... I really shouldn't talk about it. Andros came to me in confidence. You understand. He wouldn't be pleased, I'm sure. If you like, you can whisper it in my ear. I... well... I suppose I could just... Lyman! What do you think you're doing? What? Nothing. You stay away from him. Andros! We were just talking. You were just talking to Mira Forrester. Forrester? I... I didn't realize. My lord? Let me say this as plainly as I can. Don't ever meddle in my affairs again! What have I done? I've done nothing. A real shouty. Lady Marjorie. Time to hide! Oh, that's good. Lady Marjorie. Thank you, Sarah. Lifesaver. Lady Mira? That was quite a scene over there. Are you all right? I'm fine. I can handle Lord Andros. It's Lyman I was worried about. What do you mean? Honestly, that story isn't fit for a maiden's ears. Just be careful around him. All right? How about we trade? There must be something I can tell you. There is something. I'm curious about Sarah. Your help could save me a lot of embarrassment. I'd be very grateful, Lady Oh, Mira. I can't give away her secrets. What do you want to know about Sarah? Sarah Durwell. Interesting name, that. Funny thing is, the last Durwells died off almost 200 years ago. I can't tell her. I, that what would be such a betrayal. Something isn't quite right, but I'm not sure. You must understand, I can't court a woman just because I like the way she laughs. I need to know her family. Her parentage. I really couldn't say, my lord. Spare me the pretense. You know her as well as anybody. Now tell me the truth. I've met the Durwells when I was at Highgarden. Oh? They're a small house these days, but very well regarded. Ah, right. Well, that's a relief. For a moment, I thought... And now, Lord Tarwick, it's your turn. Right. Lyman Lannister. Ten years ago, Lyman was injured at the tourney at Lannisport. He took a bad fall from his horse, needed milk of the poppy for weeks just to keep from screaming. Oh. And between us, he's never stopped drinking the stuff. Can't stop, actually. He spent all his money trying to get more. The man can't go a day without it. So that's why he shakes. You mustn't repeat that, Lady Mira. I shouldn't even know about it. Besides, 
Lyman suffered enough embarrassment. And every man's entitled to his secrets. He'd be horrified if everyone knew. Then why did you tell me? Because of... Well, maybe I shouldn't have. I'd hate for Lord Andros to trace this back to me. You learned that from Andros? The man's mouth is bigger than the Blackwater. Poor Lyman has no idea. Hmm. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have some arrangements to make. So I guess the idea is break up that deal by telling Lyman Andros to let people know about his addiction. I had to lie to him, but hey, what's a lie in King's Landing? More like King's Lion Ding. Eh. I'm great at puns. Andrews is going to be real pissed at me, but I might try. Lord Lyman, we really need to talk. I know what you're up to. I won't discuss my business with Andros, so please, please, just leave me alone. You've landed me in enough trouble. Just, just leave. Look at you. You're shaking. It's an old injury. But there's more to it than that, isn't there? What are you saying? Either tell me what you want, or go bother someone else. Lord Andros has betrayed you. I know everything. <laughs> what? <laughs> this is gonna end so what? badly. The milk of the poppy. Oh God. You drink it like wine. But I have to be bold. Injury at Lannisport. He wouldn't. Andros wouldn't. He's not your friend. He's been using you. I trusted him. He spilled your secrets, so why not spill his? Andros is hiring sellswords. Hundreds of them. What? He's building an army for Lord Whitehill, big enough to march against Ironrath. But Andros is doing it in secret. No one knows. Or at least... He doesn't want anyone to know. I told him I'd keep quiet, but... Well... Now you know, too. That army will destroy my family! That was his hope, I'm sure, but I... You bloody traitor! Oh, this is not gonna You do promised it. me! Then you told everyone? What are you talking about? You're a liar. I should never have trusted you. She told me everything. <laughs> Lady Mira, you've just made a very grave error. Very grave indeed. You realize that, I hope. Don't be so bloody dramatic. Because I'm just getting started. Ha <laughs> oh, yeah, that's pretty cool. I wouldn't get too cocky, Mira, though. This could end very, very badly. However, that did feel pretty good.